Hello and welcome to Fluke Fridays. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to go over the 1664. I had it in a comment a few weeks ago about somebody that was interested in me going over this tool with him. I am not an expert at this tool. I'm based in the US and this is actually more of a European tool uh, designed by Fluke for Europe. We've recently in the last few years um, had it in the US market where people can buy it in the US market but we're going to go over it and I'm going to try to talk as though I'm somebody in the United States, which I am, um, about this thing. So let's get to it. So when you first get it, you're going to get it in, let me first say this, you're going to get it in one of these boxes just like our thermal imagers and various things. You kind of see a little foam cut out um, there in the bottom where the tool goes. And then there is a tray that sits on the top of this over the tool that has your, excuse me with that noise, has your test leads and things. And we're gonna go over those here in a second. Let's first look at the mainframe. So as you can see here, um, what we've got is you've got this dial. Unlike with the multimeters, this dial just can go around for infinity, right? Because um, it's not an on off. You have got your power button over here. Um, You'll notice they do have an auto test. I'll go over the other test here in a second, but I need to review one more time. And power button. It is Fluke Connect enabled so that you can download it to your smartphone if you so choose. And then here in the top, this is where your test leads go. Um, it's got insulation tester, just like a Megger right there for that one. And then this uh, more of an outlet checker. So this is a multifunction tester or an installation tester. And you can see this is the test lead that would come with it. It goes there in the top. And then you've got various different kinds based on where you are in the world on your outlet that you plug in. Obviously I'm in the US, so this is what we're gonna use today. And I'll go over one of those tests here in a little bit. You'll notice this test lead looks just like the ones that come with the 1500 um, series of insulation testers, whether it be the 1587 FC or 1507, 1577, all of those um, come with this where you have a little test button you can push to activate the, uh, the insulation resistance test. And then it also comes with a set of three leads like this. Let's see if I can get all of them in there. All with these three leads, it just like a, it looks like a mess, but these three leads what that will allow you to do is it allows you to take measurements um, on wires that don't have a plug attached to them yet. And the real value, I think, from what I understand with this tool, why somebody would care about it is if you're an inspector or if you're commissioning a building and you want to check all your outlets or you're like a big corporation, you want to make sure all your GFCIs are checking out okay and all your outlets are wired correctly and you want to do an annual inspection, you could do it with this tool. So. Let's jump into the features a little bit more so I can walk through that with you and then uh, we'll wrap it up. Okay, so we're gonna take this and our first um, measurement, colors match up, it'll only go in one way anyways. And you put it right like that, slide it in. That's what it looks like when it's in. And then I'll take this and I'll plug it into an outlet that's off screen. Let me see if I can get this a little closer for you guys. Hopefully that's a little better. So I'm gonna turn it on. Let me see if I can get that glare to go away for us. So we turn it on, we're gonna start in volts mode. And what you can see is we are measuring line to neutral. And you have neutral and you have line voltage and you can measure your voltage right now. And you could tell if you had miswired it. So let's say your neutral and your voltage were reversed. Now obviously we couldn't tell from that reading, but then we can hit this, neutral to line. Again, we have, that means the new, the line is the hot one because we've got two, both the neutral and the, the ground, and it's given us the same voltage. And then if we did this, uh, neutral and ground, hopefully we would see low or no voltage, and that's what we have. So it means I actually wired that outlet correctly. So yay for me, on to the next feature. Okay, next feature is gonna be the insulation resistance feature or like a, if you're gonna meg out something. 
What you have to do with this one though is you have to be de-energized. So if it's energized, it's not gonna do a test for you. So if you're plugged into an outlet that's energized, it's not gonna work. See, listen, doesn't like it. But if I unplug it, now my voltage goes to zero. Now I can test. Oh, gotta hold it down, I guess. And you can see I've got the voltage and I've maxed out my uh, resistance. So we're good there. So that would be something if you're in a de-energized building, you haven't turned on the electricity, you want to make sure that your um, you want to make sure that the wires didn't get stripped, getting pulled through conduit, or somebody didn't drive a nail through it during construction before you energize the building. That's what this um, this feature is for. Okay, and we're going to move to the next one. When you would use this feature, the continuity, you would use it for um, bonding to make sure you have good bonding on your uh, electrical system you would do this again in a de-energized system you see here we've got energized so I'm not going to do this test I, well I guess I can pull it out but I assume because I don't have them stuck together we're not going to see much it's going to be exciting yeah so high resistance and what you would want in this case is um, lower resistance if it's um, supposed to be bonded together like these two. You know, you would ex expect the neutral and the ground to be bonded back at somewhere. So if I do this, create an electrical connection. Hmm. Oh, actually, sorry, I'm a knucklehead. And that's what it looks like when you have a low battery. So let me replace these batteries. Okay, and the next two features are the loop, loop Z um, for no trip and for high current tripping, I guess. I, I'm not sure what these are exactly. I think this is more of a European standard. It's something to do with um, it's like it's an impedance test so it's basically measuring resistance on an energized circuit that has voltage already present so anyways um, and you can see you can do the test even though I'm plugged into the outlet and get a reading what the reading means um, it's beyond me okay now we get over here to t Delta T or time difference RCD time stands, it's like a GFCI outlet in the US. So how long it takes to trip the GFCI outlet and then um, how much current goes through before that GFCI outlet gets tripped. So you have that. And then you do have a phase rotation, um, phase rotation meter built in so it can tell you which, rota which direction it's gonna rotate. And then earth ground. And let's talk about that. One quick note on these uh, RCD um, test or GFCI test in the US. So if you got a brand new GFCI and you push the button and it trips, but you want to know like, is it actually tripping fast enough? Is it coming from the manufacturer correct? And is it tripping at a low enough million? Those are what those tests are for. And then last but not least, you can do the auto test. So you can do this auto test and basically you just hit test and it's gonna go through all the tests on the wheel, um, except for phase rotation, I think, but it'll go through all the tests that it can do based on if it's energized or de-energized and what tests it can do. So it's gonna go through all those and then you can actually create a report and you can pull it off via Fluke Connect if you so choose to use Fluke Connect. So that's kind of cool. So you can see there's the Fluke Connect turned on and you can connect it to your computer. So this is the 1664 FC multifunction tester. I hope that this was beneficial for you guys. Um, I'm no expert at this tool. I know it's uh, very, very popular in Europe because it's a standard that when they build a building, they have to use this before they um, commission the building. It's not as popular in the US, but there are more contractors, city inspectors that are starting to go to this because they wanna know more than what they currently know now 
using um, the, the existing tools. So hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if I don't know them, I'll try to find them out for you. Thanks. Take care.